Hello everybody and welcome to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be learning how to build a force field for your character. Now what we're going to do is pretty much allow ourselves to be protected from say for instance bullets. Now this particular force field is spawned on site so it spawns around your character where your character puts it. Uh, similar to how the Call of Duty's uh, dome system dome shield works okay so if you take a look at our character right here I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a bullet or not really a bullet just a box okay so as you can see we have this box just drop on top right and it just goes right through everything now what we're going to do is we're gonna put up a force field so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a force field as you can see we now have our force field up and if I spawn a bullet or a box as you can see it drops right there now, if you notice that the force field all of a sudden disappeared, that's because our timer ran out and we can now have that activate again. So this will spawn at location of the player. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that we want to do, of course, is build our force field. So what exactly is our force field, right? So let's go ahead and drag this prefab up here. So if you take a look, it's just simply a sphere collider that's sitting right there. And if we roll down to the collider point, you notice that is trigger is activated. So we activated is trigger because it allows us to have our game object be able to walk through this. OK, so that's the reason why we have that. Now, I also activated this script right here. And of course, we're going to get into that in a second. Now, you can decide to have the mesh render on or off. Uh, I would advise having it on if you want to add any form of texture on it or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, your your call. Okay, so I'm going to pull up this example force field real fast. Okay, perfect. Now, just like any other timer system, we're going to add a <clears throat> normal timer and a timer max okay now the timer you don't have to have it public if you don't want to it can be private if you want to um, I just put it public just because I don't want to write another uh, equation underneath the void start we're gonna say timer is equal to timer max so whatever you set the timer it doesn't matter so long as it equals timer max next we're gonna say void update timer minus equals 0.01 F so basically it's going to take about 60, actually about one second every single change, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but uh, we'll hope for the best. And also we have if timer is less than zero, destroy this object. Okay. Next we're going to say void on trigger enter collider other. Now we're going to say if other dot game object. Well, I keep forgetting to do this right here. Um, you could just put other dot compare tag because it is a collider instead of actually asking for the collision. So, uh, yeah. So I put other dot compare tag bullet. So if it's a bullet, then we're going to destroy this game object. And you know what I just thought? Okay, so you could actually set the timer right here. And. It, Let's go ahead and do that actually. We're going to just change that to timer max. Okay. And then I can just simply destroy this information right here. That would actually solve a lot of problems. So destroy actually has it to where you can automatically set that. And I completely forgot about that, which is funny. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need that anymore. And we don't need that. Okay, so now since we fixed that script, we're going to go ahead and uh, head over into our, our spawning point. So we're going to go ahead and select our example player. If you notice, we have our test spawning here. Now you're not going to need this bullet spawn right here because you're not really going to be spawning these bullets. But uh, I have them there just for testing. And of course, we have our force field there. So. Uh, however you want that to go okay 
So the bullet, like I said, it's just a simple cube. I just uh, drag this to the scene, put it up there on top, and then I'm spawning it at location. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete those off the scene real fast. And we're going to go ahead and cover the test spawn. So let's go ahead and head over here. So the test spawn, all we need to do is grab our public game objects, which of course is our force field and our bullet. Next, we're going to go over to void update. And we're going to say if input dot get key down key code dot space. So if we press the space bar, we're going to instantiate force field. Okay. Now, as I said before, we want to spawn at location, so where we are. So what you're going to need to do is underneath your instantiate, you're going to put force field or whatever game object you are spawning. Okay. So force field dot transform dot position is equal to and we're going to find this game object so transform dot position right okay so we now have this spawning at the location that we are go currently going to be at all right and now for our instantiate of bullets we're just going to do the same method but we're going to be using alpha one which of course is your upper uh, number pad or like the one right above the keys or whatever those are called. You guys know what they are. Anyway, so we're gonna instantiate the bullet right there. Okay, so on this bullet, make sure that it is a rigid body, okay? And the force field, you don't need to really add anything else to it. Now, I created this little texture for it uh, this is just, or not really texture, but a material for it. And all I did was simply change the rendering mode to fade, lowered down the alpha, raised up the um, color to blue, took out the smoothness. You can add that in there if you want to, make it a little bit more shiny. And then, of course, we can press play and test this out. So here we go. We're going to press spacebar. There we go. We got our force filled up. Now we're going to wait to see if it gets destroyed. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to head and spawn our point. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our force field. Spawn. Perfect, guys. All right, if you guys like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, check out some other videos. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial, please leave it inside the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.